born in Germany in 1926, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing's destiny was intertwined with that of a united Europe. Having fought as a young man alongside the French resistance during World War II, later in life, Giscard d'Estaing would go on to build a long-lasting friendship with a country that was once an enemy. With his death, Europe is in mourning. France has lost a head of state. Germany has lost a friend. Today, we mourn the loss of a great European. Throughout his life, Giscard d'Estaing was a strong believer in European integration. With his close ally Chancellor Helmut Schmidt, he created the European Council in 1974 and laid the foundations for the euro, setting up the European monetary system in 1979. The French leader was also instrumental in giving the European Parliament more power, establishing a system of universal suffrage. After more than 40 years in French politics, he eventually devoted himself to the European project as an MEP from 1989 to 1993. Giscard d'Estaing dreamed of a united Europe, but early on he understood that countries would not easily let go of their sovereignty. It's a union of European states, each one with their own national identity but a union that coordinates policies on a European level and acts as a leader under a federal model in some areas of expertise. In the early 2000s, many did not share his vision. He was appointed to work on a draft of the European Constitution, but his proposal was eventually rejected in a referendum by his fellow French citizens and by the Dutch. In his final years, Giscard d'Estaing witnessed a major turning point in Europe's history. As an ardent Anglophile, he openly begged the United Kingdom to remain in the European Union with a message that made headlines, We love you, don't leave us now. Well, for more on the life and